guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to pop in really quickly and share with you a few things that are like my favorite lately in homeschool. They are staples for us right now that we use pretty much every day. They're so helpful to us in homeschool right now, so I'm just going to jump right into it. The first thing are tokens. Um, I've shared in another video about how we use um, a point system in our homeschool and we use that for behavior. We basically use it for everything. It's our reward system, our rewards chart, our point system, whatever. Well, um, we use it and it's been working super well. It had been working super well, but I knew it just needed a little extra something added to it to make it just really over the top helpful in our homeschool. Um, we, it's a great way for us to do mental math um, but I did notice that it was leaving my starter out a little bit and I felt like the kids needed a little bit something more tangible than just points that they're adding up in their head. So, um, and I, admit, I meant to do this earlier on and just never got around to it. But I guess, you know, things go how they go and it's working out now. So tokens is what I'm talking about. Um, we still use that same mental math type of reward system however tokens has made it more tangible and it has been a major addition to the way that we do rewards and the way that we do school in general throughout the day um hopefully i'll be able to share you like share more of what it's like in action throughout the homeschool day these are what i'm talking about they are little um tokens that I got off of Amazon and they are gold. They are about a little bit bigger than the size of a quarter so they're the perfect size and they just correspond with the actual um, points that they receive from their rewards chart. So I keep all of mine. I actually need to go ahead and order another pack of them because the kids have earned so many of them <laughs> they're not using as many they're not redeeming as many as they are collecting which is a good thing but um I keep mine in a little mason jar as you can see they're almost gone now which is why I need to go ahead and order some more but all of my tokens all of my tokens live here and throughout the day, depending on what they have received points or rewards for, um, I go into my little stash and I dish out tokens to them. And then at the same token, get it? <laughs> at the same token, if they're not behaving well um, and I have to take away tokens from them, I take tokens from their jar and put them back into mine. Then they also get to redeem the tokens um, for prizes. So they use them for game time, they use them for extra bits of bedtime. Um, they use them for everything basically. Uh, they use them for treats at the end of the night, um, they use them for trips to the toy store, they use them to redeem for money. I have a whole system of how much each thing is worth, how many tokens is worth. Wait, how much each prize is worth in tokens, etc. <laughs> so if you don't exactly know what I'm talking about, I won't go ahead and explain it further here. I'll link that video somewhere up here so you can see how our basic structure is set up and then how we add in these tokens to the mix. So like I said, I need to go ahead and purchase some more, but it is it has been amazing and I thought it was going to work for our behavior reward system but it ended up being so much more. Um, we end up using it throughout the actual homeschool lessons. Um, when, they, when they're able to tell me information, uh, things that they're learning, things that they're excited about, um, when they do a really good job articulating, when they do a really um, wonderful job at reading smoothly. Um, in their fluidity in reading, things like that, then they receive extra tokens just based on, you know, my own, what is that word? My own, 
discretion. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes I get really excited about the things, the information that they uh, choose to share and the things that they pick up on. So anytime they're doing an amazing job, I reserve the right to toss out some extra tokens if I, if I need to. I also use this if I need them to be quiet while I'm filming or <laughs> if I need them, um, I don't know, it's really helpful in, in sibling arguments and things like that. They have just been so helpful and I will show you more in future videos but these tokens are amazing. They also had some on Amazon where they came in different colors as well. So I had debated having a specific color for each of them but then I thought, you know what, let me just keep it really simple and just go ahead and get a big old like stack of these gold ones and they're the perfect size. I did find some others that were like silver dollar size but I felt like that was too big. So these ended up being the perfect size and like I said they are um, slightly bigger than a quarter. So we love these. These tokens are life for us right now. Okay. <laughs> the next thing that it, you, which is probably no surprise to you but um, I have mentioned this on my vlogs and here on this channel is that we've been doing quite a bit moving around lately um, so we spent a couple of weeks at my sister-in-law's house helping out with her baby or my nephew as she transitioned to move back uh, to, to work after being on maternity leave and while we were there our iPad has been everything and um, before I think that once I started implementing more of the good and the beautiful um, I started to use more physical uh, worksheets and papers than our iPad and really that's really just because I was being not on top of things and a little bit lazy in charging our iPads at night which means that in the morning they were not ready for school and that is one of the cons of doing so much um, electronic schooling. However, it's just a small con as long as you make sure to charge it um, at night and it's nice and ready for you in the morning. But I hadn't been on top of that so I noticed we were using a lot more worksheets, a lot more workbooks and things like that. Um, so being away and having to use our iPad because I didn't want to take a bunch of workbooks or worksheets or paper or things like that, it just got us into a nice rhythm of using our iPad again which has been amazing because it keeps everything all in one place. Um, that is a major pro for me in using um, our iPad for so much in school is that all of their records, all of their photos from things they're doing during the day, all of that type of stuff is in one place instead of all over the place. Um, homeschool favorite, yet again, is our iPad. Okay. And then the last thing is along with our iPad, we brought along our grams letters. <laughs> so our apple letters, our banana gram, and our pears in pairs. Okay, so we brought along all of our letter tiles. And we've been using our letter tiles quite a bit lately. Um, they have been such a big deal in spelling, um, in sentence structure. We just have, uh, we have punctuation cards that we use. Um, in conjunction with our letter towels and so we've been doing lots and lots and lots of spelling and sentence building and storytelling using our letter grams and the kids have really been enjoying that so I have a set of words um, vocabulary words and builders and things like that that we work on on a weekly basis but most of the time I just have them pull out their letter tiles and start spelling and the types of words that they end up spelling they I mean let me put it this way they always impress me like they're not spelling like am and the and r and today they're spelling like challenge words like serious serious challenge words like um what did he spell the other day like exoskeleton like they have been really impressing me with the words that they're choosing to spell. So because of that, I do not give them too much instruction. I just tell them to spell a certain amount of words and they normally exceed that. And then we go through and we correct them together and talk about um, the corrections and 
whatever rule it was that needed to be followed in the spelling and things like that. So these tiles have been such a great addition to our homeschool. We use them all the time, but lately they've just been stepping them up and using them even more. So yeah, these are these are my favorites. I'm just going to wrap this up because my battery is going to die. But those are the three things that have been my absolute favorites in homeschool lately. My letter tiles, my iPad, and our tokens that we use for our rewards. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Talk to me in the comments below. And I will see you in our next video. Bye. Look, you guys can see me. <laughs> That's a wrap.